What's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back. I'm your host for this one, Joss Bedard, and we're checking out some entitled people who didn't think they'd get in trouble, but they did. They got, what's the word? Um, I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> I can't think of the word. I filmed a lot of videos today, okay? Whatever. What do you mean how low? The price is from $1,200. I paid $2,800 for it originally, so you're, so you're getting, so you're still getting a really good deal. I was thinking 800 and I can also give you some jewelry I make in exchange. I'm gonna have to pass, thanks. You don't realize how difficult it is to be a single mother around Christmas. My kids have been begging for this all year and now I have to tell them that you let them down. Oh, does it feel good knowing you ruined two kids' Christmases? I know it's a crazy concept, but I don't give a boop about your kids' Christmas. That's terrible. That's terrible. I don't really get what's happening. Obviously, like there's some kind of sale happening between these two and they do have a right to say, I don't accept the deal. And it's not really that fair to put your kid's Christmas on them, but she was making it known that they were ruining her kid's Christmas. Message to Brian. Hi, I would like to book blank for a night I'm putting on at blank in London. Unfortunately, due to costs of venue hire, etc., there's no money in it, but I can provide some drinks and food. Are they available? Brian, what do you do for a living? I'm a painter and decorator. Why? <laughs> can you come and do my hall stairs and landing? There's no money in it, but I can make you some cups of tea <laughs> and a prem. Prem Beauty? Prem Buddy? I don't know what that is. That's not the same. It's exactly the same, Brian. Exactly the same. Honestly, I totally agree. I hate when people ask for services for free. It's different if you know them or you're friends with them and it's like, you know, help me out, I'll help you in the future, things like that. But you can't possibly ask someone of this and not expect like something coming back at you. Like some straight up attitude. You still have your dignity. Oh, no, you really don't, do you? An L sofa bed. Is this still available? No answer. Hello? <laughs> no answer. I'm late to pick up my daughter and I need to know now. Jesus, man, I'm sorry. It's been like five minutes. Yes, it's available. <laughs> I was late picking up my daughter because of you. I demand a reduction in the price or I'm not taking it. I guess you won't take it then. Tell your daughter I'm sorry you're her dad. This is just crazy. Like, bro, relax. Not to mention, like, that person could be getting messages from multiple people. It's time to calm down. How much will you charge me? Uh, full price, what do you mean? I was hoping since we're cool, you would hook me up with a discount, lol. Why, in order for us to be cool, I gotta be the one hooking you up? <laughs> Why don't you hook me up with my full price plus a tip since we're so cool? Ooh. That's what I'm talking about, but like the comeback, like bam, you probably didn't expect this response, but then he's like, boom, hit you with it. I don't know. I feel like maybe you can both hook each other up. Like, it's hard to say, because if you're asking for a discount for a hookup, because you're cool, that guy mean might be like, well, just pay full price and tip me and support my business or whatever. You know? Oh, uh, hi. I'm a teen influencer, oh geez. With 47.2 TikTok followers, and I get 100K per video. Most of my audience is 14 to 17 years old and would love your jewelry and t-shirts. I wanna clap with you by advertising your products to help you grow your business. If you send me three of the most expensive items in your store, I'll make a TikTok vid about them. I hope to hear back from you. I don't know if you hope to hear back from them because I got a feeling it's not gonna be what you wanna hear. Hi there. The best way you can support our small business is by purchasing from it. I clicked on your TikTok and it seems like you get 200 views per video and your followers are 12. Unless your 1,000 TikTok followers with no forms of currency can help me pay off my student loans. <laughs> Please stop asking small businesses for free stuff. Oh God, I can relate to that on an emotional leather level anytime someone says student loan. So I got you. Um, I don't know why you'd fake your follower count and stuff because people can see it. They'll just go to your TikTok. I was wondering how much it is to get my pictures done for my kid's birthday with a few friends. Hey, my basic two hour package is $200. Who is this? Don't text me ever again. Huh? Question mark? The same reaction I had, what? 
Okay, but you, but didn't you just ask about photos for a birthday party? I don't want them no more. You want hella money for some damn pictures. All you do with a camera is go click. If that's all they do, then you take the pictures. I hate when people say that. About anyone's job, it's like, oh, what do you do? It's like, no, you don't get to decide that, but okay. Oh man, that's funny. <laughs> don't talk to me. It's like, you messaged me. What? Looking for a free play place for my kids. I refuse to shell out $500 at Home Depot for one. It must have. Oh, here we go. A, a slide. B, swings attached. C, a higher and lower platform. D, ropes to swing from. Delivery only, please. Wow. This Saturday would be the best day to come to my house and if you could install it too, I would treat you to some lemonade. Also make sure there are no nails or sharp objects that could hurt my boys, thanks in advance. Wow. Y'all, I'm dying to see the comments on this thing. <laughs> Got one for you, call me on my cell so we can arrange delivery. <laughs> and there's a picture of it. Hey, you gave me the wrong number. That's Lowe's. That's a hint, honey. They'll help you with what you need just fine. I'm reporting you. Oh! Okay, <laughs> Chris starts laughing at the word. Um, yeah, I can't say that word out loud, but let's just say it starts with a C and rhymes with punt. <laughs> That's vicious. People be crazy on Facebook, but like, what a demand. That lady was like, that was so ridiculous. Hi, scary app. Hi, can I help? Yes, please. Why do you have to pay just to get photos of your children? I think that should change in the future. It costs, hundred a pound, it costs hundreds of pounds a month to keep this website online and costs more to store photographs alongside other data. The price is 99p a month, which I don't think is unreasonable. I think it should change. It's only a photo, plus not everyone is rich to pay that. Are you a teacher? Yes, why? So am I, and it's, and blank is not a charity. Never said it was. You are asking for something that costs me, costs me money to be free for you to access. It should be, now buy. Like what? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is so stupid. Like they're just arguing over the dumbest thing. I'm surprised the person in the blue even kept the conversation going. I would have ended it a long time ago, honestly. Like no, it costs me money to keep this website going. Why on earth wouldn't I charge people? It's a service to store your photos. Hey, Cody, something here. So much to say, I imagine you being super cool. Check out our website. Okay, we need you. Can you loan me 10K? Actually 15K? I honestly don't know if this is a joke or not, blank. Either way, it's not only peace you need to find for blank, our friendship up, uh, it's money too. What? It's okay, sure. You might be surprised to know that what you do and say in life actually matters. Okay, I'm very confused by Cody's statement. Um, they cannot be serious about asking, can you loan me 10K? Actually, 15K. I don't know, but uh, I'm with them. Is this a joke? Because it better be. This guy got out of his car to express some road rage to me after we'd had an altercation while driving. I just got out of my truck, walked past him, pushed the lock button on his door, closed it and walked past him again. Then I got back in my truck and drove off. He seemed to be frozen with confusion the entire time. So you got out of your truck, walked past him, pushed the lock button on his door so the door was open, closed it, walked past him again. This, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just as confused, to be honest. <laughs> I don't understand. I would have literally sat there too, like just as confused. But I guess because that person had got out of his car that you, so you locked him out? Oh, I think I understand what's happening now. Took me a minute to visualize it, but he's locked out of his car now, correct? Yes, you press the lock button, you closed it, you locked him out of his own car. I'm understanding now. Took me a minute, wow. Everyone else who probably was like, Josh, how did you not get that? <laughs> I came out of the mall one day to find that someone had hit my car. I asked a passerby what happened and they told me that the guy who hit my car got out, looked at the damage and quickly parked all the way on the other end of the lot. Ah, so I came up, so I came up with a plan of revenge. I went to where the car was parked, 
paint matched it to confirm that it was one that hit mine. Then I flattened all four tires and left a note on their windshield telling them to have a nice day. <gasps> That is the revenge, but can you imagine if that wasn't the right car? Like you're matching paint, like that's fine, but like, ooh, but that's a little risky. I guess tit for tat though, you wreck my car, I'ma wreck yours. Tit for tat, is that the saying? <laughs> that would hurt, oh my God. I don't want a tattoo on my tit. I'll take tits instead of a tat. <laughs> can I have more tits and less tat? A horrible former coworker always claimed she worked way more hours than she actually did, and when she was at work, she just browsed Facebook all day. What a life. The doc doctor slash owner was very hands off and just let her do whatever she wanted despite me going to him with proof. So I decided to take revenge. She was not computer savvy at all. So I removed Internet Explorer from her desktop and installed an identical icon that when clicked would instantly restart the computer. <gasps> it was so satisfying when she would forget and click it losing anything that she was working on. No. Dude, that is so mean. <laughs> Only because I hate when that happens. And I think everyone's done that. When you're working on something and your computer just glitches or shuts down, and you're like, I did not save my work. That is the worst. That is the absolute worst. Wow, I saw the free dishwasher you have on Craigslist. I live in Samir Samirna? I've never what is that? Smear? Am I am I dumb? <laughs> Smear? Okay. I can't wait for the comments that are coming my way. <laughs> I live in this name that I cannot say. Though, got anything else to throw in to make it worth my time? I'll tell you what. I'll knock half off the asking price. <laughs> oh, I love the sarcasm. It's because it's free. I mean, it is free. You're getting something for free, so that kind of makes it worth your time. Am I the only cheap person? I'll take anything for free. Honestly, you could give me a used peanut butter sandwich, like half eaten, and I'd be like, yeah, it's free. All right, guys, that's all I got. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to keep hanging out. I was your host, Joss. I'll see you next time. Bye.